Hi, I'm Illinois State Senator Dale Fowler, and I'm excited to be in Harrisburg at Johnson's Southern Style Barbecue, showcasing a family-owned business that's been here for over four generations. And so, shop, eat, and play Southern Illinois made. So I'm excited to be here in Harrisburg today with Rupert Johnson, the owner of Johnson's Southern Style Barbecue. Rupert, thank you so much for being with us today. Thanks for being here. So Rupert, Johnson's Southern Style Barbecue has been around here for over four generations. Tell us a little bit about how it started. Well, it started with my great-grandfather that taught my grandfather how to cook. And he started out in an old railroad car that was decommissioned because my dad worked for the railroad. And he opened up his business in this area down in here and was successful and then built a restaurant and was there for 57 years and then I opened it after I got out of school and went into the trades quit the coal mines and started my business in 1984 and I've been here for 36 years wow. so all together we've been in business for 94 years Oh great, so it's what an amazing story to over four generations of family owned business right here and uh, I know your uh, barbecue is a, is a popular one and I know you have a lot of other, a lot of products to offer. So give us a little idea of some of the products that you have. I know it's here on the board, but. Well, actually I can show you. Now, of course the original right. is the uh, used to be raised barbecue sauce. That's still most people's favorites. But a lot of times they'd order it mild and you just put a little bit on there. They'd say, well, that's a little bit, still too, a little bit too hot. So that's when I developed the Rupert Sweet and Spicy. It's a whole lot milder and sweeter. So the customers, especially the ladies, like this one. But then they'd say, well, you know, that's really not hot enough. But I like the sweet part. So, <laughs> so I, was, I was putting, I was mixing the two. Well, that got to be real popular. So then I thought, you know what? Instead of putting them together, why don't I develop a uh, recipe? and put them together and put it on the, uh, a different label. Right. And that's when I come up with the in the mix style. In the mix, right. Yeah. So now that's my favorite, and it's a whole lot of other people's favorite too. But this is the top seller right here, the original. Well, the original, and probably, yeah. you know, through all the years of, of people had passing it oh, off throughout yeah. their family. Oh, well, yeah. Well, you know, my grandpa was in business for 57 years. That, right. Yeah. And you still got your old timers around here that remember, remember the original. And, they say if it ain't broke, don't fix it, so don't do nothing to it. So Rupert, tell us a little bit about what it was like to participate in the Southern Illinois Made Expo, to be able to have your sauce, your product at the expo, and have an opportunity to network and let people see what you have to offer. Actually, I was kind of surprised that there were so many things that was made in Southern Illinois. I thought maybe I was the only one made that thing, <laughs> but I was pleasantly surprised. For more information about Johnson's Southern Style Barbecue, please visit simade.org in partnership with the Southern Illinois Chambers of Commerce. And until next time, shop, eat, and play Southern Illinois Made.